I think we're better off without Tyree Kill on the team. Yes, I know we got rid of Byron Prangle and the other guy went to um uh the the Raiders, right? And Tyree Kill is is obviously going in Miami now, but we are better off without a player like Tyree Kill on the team because of what you just said there. Also, let's flash back to the um AFC championship ship game. Him and McCole Armin were arguing on the sideline for whatever reason. No, no, that it may have been the Buffalo Bill game, maybe. Like I can't remember, but they were on the sideline. They were bickering about each other or bickering back and forth to e- to each other. And clearly, everybody on that sideline had McCold Hardman's back, not Tyreek Hill's back. So when we see that on the sideline of a playoff game that you are that you are excelling at, you ultimately won the game and you're winning like at that particular point, and you're bitching and moaning that you aren't getting getting the ball, or or maybe or you know like you aren't getting in space to do enough no things. We don't need that on the Kansas City Chiefs. We do not need a player like Tyree Kill's ego on the Kansas City Chiefs. Honey Badger himself come out and said it best. Basically, check your ego at the door. And now Tyron Matthew is in the free agent pool as well. So, uh, I mean, he's he's he he's probably going to get a lot of money thrown at his way. So maybe this encrypted tweet from the Honey Badger, maybe he's coming back to Kansas City as well. I mean... Justin Reed with Tyron Matthew on the same D, D, D defense, bada bing, bada, bada boom. Things might be happening over there. Things things might be good on the defensive side of the ball. But addition by subtraction is better for the Kansas City Chiefs in 2022. Because I pulled up some pulled up some stats, stats here. Since Patrick Holmes has been a starter on the Kansas City Chiefs, he has played five games without Tyreek Hill. Five games without Tyree killed the whole the whole entire game. In those five games, the Kansas City Chiefs are five and zero. They have a winning they they have, they have a winning differential by twenty four points or more. So twenty four points average is is what they beat those teams by in those five games. In those five games, those stats for Patrick Mahomes: seventeen hundred yards, eight touchdowns, one interception. The key factor there, he is five and zero without Tyree Kill on the field. The Kansas City Chiefs are a better team without Tyreek Hill on the field. Yes, he does bring explosiveness. I, 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 I get that. Yes, he does offer those little shuffle passes that he can break at any given time. But at the end of the day, he has a Barry Sandrum, Barry Sanders syndrome in him. You are going to get a lot, or you're going to get a very, very negative. There is no mediocre point in there. He is either going to break it for 80 yards or he's going to lose 20 yards trying to get 80 yards. At some point, you just got to lower your head down and get those 10 yards, right? So the Chiefs. 